De retour pour de nouvelles aventures. Désolé si je vous ma canette. De toute façon, vous êtes. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez me faire Alors. Oh merde. Pardon. So, what do you think What do you mean About those two families Hey, can this work Oh, bah, non. Super méchant. Alors. Euh. Vos vies, qu'est-ce que j'ai Je change de. Vêtement. Je pense qu'on va prendre les vêtements légers. Hop, on va prendre la prendre, 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 Last Drag Hachette. Pour après, il y a des trucs. Voilà. Un petit truc avec Vrai. Objet, on va se prendre tout à l'heure. On va prendre ça. On est bien. Pour les on va prendre la pêche. On peut dire qu'on est à la pêche, je pense. Ça marche. On va aller se faire. On va dire qu'on a la mission. Hop, on va attendre qu'il prend. Merde, tu oublies ça. Allez, vas-y. Voilà. Alors. Euh... Ah, c'est quand même assez long. GR, c'est quoi ça Ah, les clés, ok. Ah, c'est. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. Ouais, c'est parti. Yeah. Tu es fatigué euh, en arrivant, je te donne un petit truc à vous faire là. Yeah. Lui, non Alors, les films, si dans le temps, ils s'étaient lancés. Ah. Voilà. Faut me dire, attends, il s'est pas lancé. Alors, j'espère que vous ne pas le bruit de la manette. Non, je sais pas, je le son de micro. On a que 27 de là Ah ouais, yep. chose. Mais c'est quand on va aller au chéri vite fait Go. Je suis pas dans la ville, je suis dans la ville à Dans la ville à Lille. Merde, je suis vite tout le temps dans la salle Alors La ville, la ville, la ville. Le chéri, c'est où Je vais voir ça quand je vais arriver. Ah, ça va être sympa que je vois le bureau de chez pour voir si ça pas une prime. Ah, ouais, je suis déjà à 50 dollars, ok, bon. On le brosser un peu, on va manger, caresser et nourrir. 
Et là, on va faire Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Ah, attends. How are you? Very good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations oh, on becoming a temporarily oh, deputized citizen of awesome. Scarlet Meadows County. Awesome. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? Are you for a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite. I'm pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in labor laws. Now they're dealing with moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough. Hey, on, we'll see this on FPS. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! See that wagon? Oh. 
going for on his own. Vas-y, on joue le truc du Toutes mes armes, là. Faut pas les prendre, incroyable. You could try Keep your eyes open. No, this must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. That's fun. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. I thought, I thought. Even saying that word makes me sick. Oh, I'm going Alors je dis que je ferai ça en FPS, on va bien aller les gars. Ok. Tell you boys, what did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, you say, in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I said, actually, but my friend here decide he doesn't have your way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheap. Now, a fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Get the rider, don't round him up later. Get the other one. Think 
You take this one, Bill. With pleasure. Allez, je savais pas. Je savais pas qu'il fallait pas le tuer. Incroyable. On a pas envie de tuer, ça veut dire Ouais, on take merde. Ah, assommer le contrôle sans nous faire repérer. Super. Ouais, on est bien là. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Hold back. See if they split up. Je suis guidé par la guerre. Catch the rider. Grab the other fella. I'll deal with this one. You get the other fella. All right. Les armes, j'ai tout, c'est bon. Voilà, on prend le bleu, on va Super lourd. On avait pas une cage avant. Je pense que c'est tout. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on fait maintenant Nous devons mieux détruire tout ça. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So. You think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about that. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, people. Oh. Shit! We are men over here. Where did these sons of? Are you upset with me? No, 
Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Tu voulais fuir, non? En vrai. Je suis un chef. Quick, let's go before any more show up. Ah, je suis deux corps. C'est bon, tu vas pas me faire chier. Ouais, tu parles. J'ai pas le standard, tu vois. Je How does it feel? Being a fine upholder of the law. Not that different to our normal life so far. Who were those fellas? Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Oh, ah! 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 Ain't there old place? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. What did you stop for? Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean? Young Dutch. I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Look! 
Ah, je te dis que t'as pas droit. Je suis pas le truc, il va arriver là-bas. Le moteur a antagonisé. Quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. Here, I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. Hello. Fuck, I got. Tiens, non, je suis shérif. Oh, je suis en C'est bon, je suis shérif. Alors, la carte, c'est quoi ça La mission, là. Les gros, la mission. Merci, la mission. Bon, il souhaite parler. Donc, j'ai un peu rien à foutre. Ouais, il n'y a pas de mission. Oh, je suis pas grand là-bas, on trouve un Bon, allez, c'est quoi ça Ouais. Ouais, bah, on va aller voir Molly. Faire chier. Molly Hey, Arthur Can, can I have a quick word Yes, Mr. O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on then, you miserable bastards. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all five minutes. 
<laughs> well, you boys been off fishing or playing what? lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. Finding the near. <laughs> You don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, mate. So, what is it you scope oh, here really? exactly? Well, I told you. Here's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but okay. the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> yeah, oh! Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now they'll be passing through the crossroads. <laughs> 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 Soon, Williamson. For Christ's sakes. I should be due any time. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. This oh, he'll miss it. Okay, one of you round the back. Arthur, help me out here. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be near the distance. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Get back here! Oh, the moon! Oh, shit! 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 Oh,
Into the woods. Mais arrête de bloquer, il fait merde. Mais juste ça nous voit qu'il part à la gauche. Hot, hot. Ok. Yep. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Fire! Shit! Fire! 
know. Get the hell off me! Arthur! Got a wife at home? I'll go make... You made a way. meal out of that, didn't you? Well, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Uh-oh. Really, those boys ain't as quiet as us. Yes, we should go give them a hand. Son of a bitch! Oh, 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 Deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an again. honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up. Quan, run quick. Good luck, gents. Stay quiet and move. Someone for a bubble. Hey 
there. Can I have a word? Nice try, but I ain't willing to look. I mean it. Stop right <laughs> now. Yep. Go go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On the knee. Federal ain't got no. Boy, idea. you best be going. Lemoyne Raiders hold. Ra Yeah. Ah. Oh, I'm This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Be our dumbest deputy yet. Eh, mon pote, il est arrivé comme ça, mec. Avec qui est-on du shérif? Ah là là. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Let's talk like that. Hey, guys. I'm not going to talk Okay, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, 
I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us. And the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than I Ah, c'est loin. Oh, ouais, c'est loin. There, boy. Allez, c'est parti. On est déjà 53 minutes. Ah bah, on Les gens, je m'en excuse. On verra ça dans le prochain épisode. Voilà. Et je vais essayer de le perdre, euh, pas tardivement, mais directement. Comme ça, vous l'aurez de suite. Voilà, je vous dis à la prochaine. Pour la prochaine vidéo. Ciao, ciao. Bisous.